In this video, you will learn about a very prized mushroom named lion's mane. Its scientific name is Heresium erinaceus. It belongs to the genus Heresium, also known as monkey's head mushroom or priest mushroom, hedgehog mushroom or you can say bearded tooth mushroom. They are called by different names but lion's mane is the most popular name used. You can uh, just see why it's because it's just like the lion's mane. It's a very prized edible gourmet medicinal mushroom and the thing is that it's extremely delicious. Many describe their flavor as like seafood uh, often comparing it to the prawn, crabs or lobsters. This mushroom contains the best bioactive compounds. It has nootropic properties which can heal the brain. It has the boosting properties for the mind and hence it's very high in demand. Because it's no ordinary mushroom which you will understand very soon in this video, the average price of this mushroom in the dry form is around 10,000 rupees per kilogram. Its powdered extracts which is in very high demand sells for around 80,000 rupees to 1 lakh rupees per kilogram. Lion's mane mushroom is often called the new money maker of the future. Best part about it is that it's very easy to grow. You don't need to invest a lot of money and you can grow it right where you are right now sitting. It's easy to adapt and grow at any place. So you can grow it in your home or even if you are planning for a large commercial setup, you can easily do this. Watch this video till the end, you will learn everything about the amazing lion's mane mushroom, its growing parameters. I will teach you the step by step cultivation method by following which you will definitely be able to grow this mushroom and everything about its marketing. Lion's mane can be cooked in multiple ways. It blends easily with any recipe of choice. It can be sliced into small chunks or shredded or it can be fried, sorted with spices or simply boiled for soup. It can also be dried for further use and easily you can use sun or the dehydrators and whenever you require to use this mushroom you can just rehydrate them in water and reuse them. Why it's an amazing mushroom? Why it's a prized, prized mushroom? Unlike other mushrooms, it doesn't have any cap and stem. It has a teeth instead of gills from where it releases its spores. Its spore color is white. They belong to a group of hydnoid fungi. They grow spore producing spines outside of the fruiting body. Uh, have you have uh, already seen that other mushrooms like oysters, shiitakes, they do have gills. But it doesn't use any gills. They have spines or that's, the call, that's what we call teeth. They do this to maximize the surface area. Uh, why? Because to fully optimize the reproductive capacity. Isn't it an intelligent mushroom? Lion's mane has anti-inflammatory properties, especially for tissues in the stomach and intestines. Hence, since centuries, it has been used for gastric ulcers, gastric diseases. Now, the scientific research has proven it contains anti-cancer and immunity-boosting compounds. After the advancement of modern-day science and research, the lion's mane has become very popular for its brain-boosting functions. Several brain and neurological problems are found to be cured or improved uh, and using this mushroom it has uh, tremendous chemical compounds which has the potential to repair the damaged uh, brain nerve cells, it cures neuro problems, it improves the brain functioning like cognitive ability, memory power, focus, it helps with the anxiety and depressed, uh, depression problems, it can in fact uh, prevent the Alzheimer disease. Within few days of regular use, uh, its users often notice a better memory, creativity and mental endurance. The best fact is that it not only helps with the memory and focus but with overall emotional being. It helps with the mind and body connection. How? But how does it does? No other mushrooms uh, have been uh, found to be such much effective other than those magical mushrooms of course but this is a gourmet edible mushroom which has such a tremendous beautiful taste but it affects our mind in such a such a drastic way in such a positive manner but how because it contains two special compounds one is hericinones and another one is erinacines which is responsible for the stimulation of nerve nerve growth factor these two bioactive compounds are responsible for nerve regeneration and boosting factors. 
what is nerve growth factor actually it is it it is something which is in our brain and it maintains every factor in our body be like uh, which uh, the functions which are essential for survival or the regulations of our body parts and everything in fact our brain is the central system which is actually responsible for controlling everything and as we age this nerve growth factor in our mind in our brain actually declines and ngf has some limitation it can't cross the blood brain barrier like the ngm compounds can flow through to only those places where our blood can flow through that nerves hence the role of lion's mane come the erinacines which is found and extracted from from the lion's mane are special because they can cross this blood barrier as ngf can't cross the brain uh, blood brain barrier but this erinacines extracts has such a potential and they have such a capacity capacity that they can cross the blood brain barrier this means neurons can absorb lion's mane's erinacines right from the blood stream they act directly on the central nervous system to improve our cognition researchers have found that lion's mane extracts block certain pain signals and helps regenerate nerves by stimulating ngf it supports recovery from nerve damage it has been established right now so no other mushroom co- contains these two uh, such a powerful bioactive compounds in the similar similarly like the erinacines works the herinacines also work in the same fashion erinacine is in the mycelium and herinacines uh, are found in the fruiting body of this mushroom hence you just can't uh, extract from the mycelium you do need to grow this mushroom and then only you will get both the compounds no other food contains these two powerful compounds together that's the best part growing parameters of lion's mane this mushroom grows naturally on dead trees and fallen logs in the wild hence similar to the shiitake mushrooms you can grow this mushroom on logs outdoor log cultivation of shiitake mushroom uh, step by step video i have already made and you can find the link in the description and if you just follow those methods uh, the lion's mane will grow in the similar fashion but the most popular and the best way for the, the lion's mane is its indoor method it is a fast growing species just like oyster mushroom and it can easily grow within 15 to 30 days Lion's mane grows best on supplemented hardwood sawdust. Ideal incubation temperature is around 21 to 24 degrees Celsius when the vegetative growth takes place and for the fruiting temperature it's also similar uh, but the ideal is 18 to 24 degrees Celsius. Relative humidity during the fruiting is around 90% and uh, like western mushrooms I will say uh, lion's mane lion's mane mushrooms are little hassle free they are hardy uh, and they are quite adaptive to the climate if the CO2 is uh, higher then it won't die and even if the temperature goes below or even higher it won't be some lion's mane are such an adaptive species they will find a way to grow so that's why I said that it's really easy to grow cultivation guide of the lion's mane step by step okay so first step is that you have to arrange certain materials and equipments basic of them are uh, first you need lion's mane spawn uh, either you can make your own spawn using tissue culture or you can just uh, if you just don't know how to make you can go and visit bmmushroom.com there i have given the step by step on the blog section you will guide the you will get the guide for the spawn making or you can directly purchase from our website bmmushroom.com secondly you will need substrate the substrate can be hardwood uh, sawdust uh, the trees you can use for hardwoods are oak uh, tulip poplar beech elder the complete uh, complete list you can get it from the bmmushroom.com there i have given the all the plant, trees and if you want to know why hardwoods not softwood you, you should uh, go to our earlier videos the description in the video there i have already explained why you should choose only hardwoods and you will need supplements supplements are what it's just a nitrogen source which boost uh, the mycelium strength and so that you will get better quality yield and faster growth for supplements you can use any nitrogen source but uh, populars are uh, bran or you can also use oats uh, supplementation should be around 10 to 10 to around 25% and then you will need water and the growing bags or buckets and anything where you will be growing your mushrooms and uh, some thread or rubber bands these are the materials you will need and what are the equipments you will need you will need a measuring standard cup 
एंड बकेट और बाउल स्केल एंड देन द प्रेशर कुकर और द ऑटो क्लेव वेर यू विल बी स्टेरिलाइजिंग योर सब स्टेट वंस यू हैव ऑल दिस थिंग्स देन यू शुड गो फॉर स्टेप टू इन स्टेप टू द सब स्टेट प्रिपरेशन टेक्स प्लेस फॉर अराउंड फाइव पाउंड्स और अराउंड टू पॉइंट थ्री किलोग्राम ऑफ लाइन्स मेन ब्लॉक यू शुड हैव फाइव कप्स ऑफ हार्डवुड फ्यूल पैलेट्स and then after that you will have to add 1.4 liter of water uh, with this hardwood fuel pellets why i am talking about pellets is because uh, it's easy to find you can directly order it from online or if you have uh, the resources and nearby sawdust is available and you can directly buy sawdust also that's also fine and then combine this pellets with the water and then soak uh, let it soak for around 30 40 minutes and thoroughly mix them After that, you will need to add your supplement. Just add around 1.25 cups of the wheat bran and mix it thoroughly. Once it's done, now you should uh, test the final moisture content of your substrate. It should be around 60 to 65 percent. And anything more than this and lesser than this uh, will harm your mycelium. Uh, how to test for the uh, moisture? You can simply uh, have a fistful of the substrate and just. press it hard if water is not leaking out your palm is getting little bit wet it's having moisture but the water is not rinsing uh, between your fingers then it's fine it's around 60% then now you should move for the step 3 which is sterilization place the mixture of the substrate into a grow bag expel as much as water you can uh, sorry as much as air you can uh, of course the water has been already expelled and fold the bag or just uh, tie the bag from above and now sterilize the substrate in a pressure cooker or autoclave for around 2 and 1/2 hours allow your substrate to cool down before the next step in the step 4 inoculation takes place inoculation is a process of adding your lion's mane mushroom spawn to your prepared substrate before starting wipe down all the work surface area clean your hands well with soap or alcohol to avoid any contamination Also you can use laminar air flow which is the best thing otherwise you can also design your still air box how to go make your still air box step by step instruction is in the website bmmushroom.com you can go through that or also you can just sit in a room where no wind is blowing and sufficiently the air is clean now you have to inoculate you need to add your lion's mane spawn with the substrate what the substrate rate you can add for around 5% to 20% of your weight of the wet substrate the more spawn you add up to the 20% it's the limit it, the faster will be the inoculation growth now mix the substrate and the spawn together and close the top of the bag with a rubber band now the step 5 is incubation place the closed bag in a shaded indoor place like your home or at any shaded place clean area and leave it to, uh, leave it to incubate for next 10 to 14 days right now you need to maintain a moderate temperature of around 20 to 24 degrees celsius in meanwhile spawn will grow and spread throughout the bag and completely colonize the substrate here you need to know one thing unlike other mushrooms the mycelium of uh, lion's mane is quite wispy and thin uh, what i mean by wispy is that mm, it will not form a thick white mat it will not look white uh, milky white completely and it may appear that the colonization has not taken place or the bag is partially colonized or randomly colonized so actually what happens is that it is very normal lion's mane mycelium behaves like that you will not see very thick white uh, mycelium all around completely covered like others mushroom but that's fine it's completely natural what will happen is that then how will you understand that uh, when the incubation period will uh, be over how will you know it simple way to know is that after 14 days start observing your bag and you will notice that it will start form- forming fruiting bodies inside the bag randomly all around so once you st- uh, see that there the mushrooms are f- uh, fluffy mushroom layer is forming the lion's mane are forming it means the colonization is already complete and it's the time for fruiting Now you should move to uh, step six and create fruiting conditions. This involves cutting holes in your bags or making X or V in shape using sterilized blade. 
the exposed portion will get fresh air and you will need to uh, place this uh, bag in a place where it is humid and shady and mist the bag several times a day it will keep the environment moist and within 2 to 3 days you will see that pin heads and the primordia forming on your substrate through those holes and these will grow into full size mushroom very soon once your mushroom is fully grown up harvest it either by twisting it from the base or cutting it from the base they are not as delicate as they look at uh, at fridge they will remain for good for around 10 days so you can see even the shelf life of this mushroom is even good use fresh or uh, you can use it fresh uh, for cooking or it can also be dried and preserved for several months you can always rehydrate them for use the commercial cultivation can be done once the basic skill of this mushroom cultivation is mastered if you want to learn complete commercial cultivation everything about the setup the farm design humidity fogger everything the calculations then you can just visit bmmushroom.com and join the complete training program online course where we teach everything about food processing marketing pest and disease management and complete thing about fungi description i have given a, f- a webinar link it's free you can join that where we will further discuss much more about this mushroom marketplaces for mushroom so until now whatever steps i have uh, t- told you you can follow them and definitely you will have good quality mushrooms uh, so if you are not planning to expand that into a business and you want to make money out of it because of course it's a very costly mushroom and you can easily become a millionaire by growing this mushroom because it do impacts an area of our body which is the most important thing mind brain brain is everything the more powerful a person uh, having the good brain quality the better he will be so it uh, it affects certain parts which is the most uh, prized so this lion's mane thing is very better because it doesn't needs cold uh, cold temperature like other species neither uh, like button mushroom they don't need uh, such kind of critical composting process which takes a lot of time all you need is spawn and your simple sawdust everything is cheap it doesn't take much uh, amount of time as well so the low investment low time very high return so let's talk about the market places for the mushroom the first thing is that uh, this mushroom are extremely delicious the moment people get to know that you are growing them they will start uh, searching for you and you they will just start making queue outside your farm because this mushroom is in very demand because people will get more and more aware about it and once they will understand the taste and the health benefits of this mushroom they will definitely buy it directly fresh from you but how to do do that so best thing is that if you are growing this mushroom you should uh, first of all go for the online marketplace make the listings that you are having this product and create awareness as if you are only growing and you are not doing marketing how will people come and find your product how will they buy so first thing is that you should list your products on google and whatever platform online platform is popular in your area or in your country you should do that and after that uh, you can also uh, easily sell them on local farmers market uh, the fruits vegetable retail shops or the carts outside available at every colonies and there are established wholesale markets for vegetables there it can be sold and the supermarkets malls there uh, high value people go and they are much much more aware about the benefits of mushroom they will definitely buy and there are traders and exporters uh, who is seeking this mushroom continuously but best thing is that uh, marketing and business is all about connection the more you have better connection with the people the better you become so that's that's why we at bm mushroom has created an on- online marketplace uh, you sh- can join that uh, just visit bmmushroom.com and there is a page named members only exclusive there you will get several groups uh, of whatsapp facebook and several ebooks also on marketing which you will get there and uh, we regularly post buyers uh, phone number contact details and there are buyers who are seeking these mushrooms and you can just directly call them and sell your product so easy these all services right now are free so enjoy and the biggest market for this mushroom is just not for the fresh 
द बिगेस्ट मार्केट ऑफ दिस लाइन्स मैन इज इन इन इट्स वैल्यू एडिशन द ड्राई फॉर्म और द पाउडर्ड प्रोडक्ट्स लाइक द एक्सट्रैक्ट्स विच कैन बी टेकन आउट फ्रॉम दिस मशरूम आर वेरी प्राइज एज आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू इट कंटेन्स द ब्रेन बूस्टिंग फंक्शनिंग हैंस इट्स नॉट फिजिबल फॉर एवरी वन टू ग्रो दे ग्रो एट देयर हाउस सो दे प्रीफर टू बाई द एक्सट्रैक्ट ऑफ लाइन मेन फॉर देयर ब्रेन लाइक प्रिवेंशन और क्योर और इनफैक्ट एनहेंसिंग इट फॉर द न्यूट्रोपिक प्रॉपर्टीज actually you can simply grow them and make powdered form and tincture extracts from this mushroom one important thing to note is that the erinacins and hyacinones uh, which are present in this mushroom are terpenoids terpenoids compounds what it means is that uh, these two factors are insoluble in water so what happens is that if someone is directly um, eating mushrooms just by cooking they will they won't get these two uh, things so they won't be having much benefit for their brain function even though it also has uh, water soluble compounds like polysaccharides and beta glucans which are excellent for the immunity and gastric uh, health which i also told you that it has been traditionally used for this gastric and stomach ailments since since ages but Uh, the scientific research has established it that uh, it contains the erinacins and hyacinones which are terpenoid compounds so these are insoluble in water then what how you extract those uh, compounds from it you have to make alcohol extraction hence the extraction of alcohol alcohol extraction is necessary so you have to submerge this mushroom in alcohol for a month and do the do following steps which i will teach you in next video and to make tincture or powder form extracts and that will contain a lot of these compounds and you can just directly sell them and those powdered extracts are selling for lakhs of rupees if it actually depends upon the quality of your compound so the reason for mushroom extraction is to make uh, the natural compounds more readily available to our bodies the fungal cell wall of any mushroom not only this uh, lion's mane that's why i always say that uh, don't eat raw mushrooms it will taste good or whatever but uh, it won't help you much because the fungal cell wall is made of chitin which is the same tough substance that uh, kind of crustaceans make their shell or the sea animals their shell is made of so you can see how much uh, hard it is so our body is typically lack the chitinase enzyme to digest this chitin so much of mushroom we eat as food end up as an insoluble fiber which get, which is great food for our gut um, but the compounds we want end up locked inside this chitin wall hence uh, this is where the mushroom extraction comes into place by using common extraction techniques techniques we can break down this chitin layer and give our bodies easier access to this important compound hence uh, for extracting erinacins and hyacinones the terpenoid compounds of course from the chitin uh, you will need to learn the extraction so you can directly join the course or of course subscribe this channel in the upcoming video i will definitely cover this topic also in the webinar i will teach you how to do that and uh, thank you if you have any doubt regarding the cultivation of lion's mane or anything about mushroom you can just when filling up the webinar form which is in the description you can write down the query there and i will answer that so i shall be back soon happy mushrooming